What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, been a while since I uh, made a video here. Uh, so just to update you on a few things. Uh, we sold all of our grain. Uh, we are debt free. We're in the midst of planting. Uh, finishing up some of our our uh, tillage. We're on our second to last field, our penultimate field um, for seedbed prep. Uh, we have two planters going. Uh, we purchased one and we rented the other. Um, we also uh, bought a new T, uh, T7 New Holland um, and an Oxbow merger at a 2730. Um, and we bought field one as well. Uh, so that's one less field that we're renting. Uh, if you go to field management, you can see we, uh, this used to be rented. All the yellow numbers are leased fields. So we have quite a bit of fields that we're leasing. Um, we're debt free. So if you go to loan details, uh, loan value, there's nothing. Uh, we have a bank line of credit of 2.8 million. Um, so pretty happy with that let's see here loan active so we paid off our loan in 73 days so uh, well ahead of the 365 day lifespan so um, anyways that's about it we got our alfalfa planted as well oh and then we bought another um, uh, we purchased a another t97 um, a real tree camo version. So we have two T97s, a T9450. Um, probably we'll trade in the 450 row crop and get a ATI track. Um, although I was kind of like thinking of putting road tracks on it because I imagine if you could put a road track on a case, you could put a road track on a New Holland. It's, you know, the New Holland already makes ATI tracks. So shouldn't be that difficult to convert in real life. I'm sure they make some kind of conversion kits or someone does. So I'm just gonna get this guy back. See our, our brand new T97 real uh, real tree camo. Um, so this is going to be one of our main uh, brand new no hours on it. It's going to be another tillage tractor. Uh, and then we bought our uh, 26 foot uh, zero inch 2730. Uh, we have our DN spreader out here, and we bought uh, a step deck trailer as well. Um, this step deck trailer and this uh, fertilizer trailer, I haven't separated the UV maps yet, so they're not washable, but um, this trailer was going to come in hand uh, when we started doing our alfalfa, I mean our uh, uh, PJ gooseneck, it works great, I can get um, like 40 bales or something on this trailer, um, but figured since we were planning uh, about 200 more acres or 250 more acres or whatever yeah we're doing a hundred and twenty more acres of alfalfa that um, we needed a actual a semi trailer for that uh, let me get back we have our uh, t8 planting Sunflower and sunflowers uh, is chewing through. I wonder if I have uh, no. So we're at field 17. We're starting southwest, southeast. Finish at last. Let's This guy is 
stop planting sunflower. Uh, we're going to be burning up a lot of sunflower seed. Uh, and then this guy's over in, what field is this, 26? And he's planting um, soybean. We have all of our corn planted. And we have one, two, three more large fields of soybean. And we'll be done with soybean. And then this guy can help out with sunflower. And uh, we're going to be planting uh, three fields of milo. So it actually turned out that our corn, our corn was more profitable than sunflower actually uh, after great demand. Uh, we actually, uh, it was about a thousand or like five hundred dollars more profitable per acre than our sunflower was after great demand. Um, but. Um, they're both extremely profitable once you get uh, the great demands uh, were 1.9 so um, got really good prices and made a lot of money so uh, it's basically equivalent to eight nine dollar a bushel corn is what we sold our our uh, corn at so extremely profitable good yields, we're averaging like 220 bushel on our corn, so. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and hop in my Silverado here. Uh, I dropped out some uh, old fertilizer that was, that was uh, in the seed tender. Seventeen in service our DB planner. So this this rig that's running in seventeen. This is the planner that we own. Um, the, the DB sixty planner. Finally bought a planner uh, in our fourth season. Instead of uh, always decent. Uh, the only reason why I'm still running the other one is because I put uh, twelve thousand liters of soybean in that planter so I don't want to uh, return it to the dealer and lose my money I spent on seed so I'm going to burn up through that seed and, and uh, probably might as well run it till, till about midnight we'll probably run our planters uh, 
this guy's going to be coming back. I don't know if he has enough seat at 6%. So here's our uh, T, um, T7, um, need a little hood on it, um, looks pretty pretty cool, it's got a lot of um, T8 components on it and T6 components, a um, little bit of 9R or uh, T9 components as well. And uh, just a default in game loader that I haven't exported yet. So, why not go to this guy? You can see it's automatically loading. Makes my job easy so I don't have to get out. So this guy is
found any nutrients in this field, so uh, we're just uh, doing tillage on this field to make it a little bit easier on our planting rigs, because that real terrain mob just goes crazy on plowed terrain with wheels. Tracks not so much, but definitely with wheels. So this guy is full. much to do. Um, I need to fix that oxbow. It keeps on folding on me. Anyways, uh, kind of have a little bit more time in my evenings and weekends now, so I spent yesterday kind of fiddling around with my 4440 uh, Patriot sprayer. But um, as you can see, it's going to take a long time, you know, probably another day or two to get all these fields planted. Um, but uh, we did a lot of this work over here with just one. T and, uh, today yeah, it started at six with one planter so we did I don't know probably a third of our fields in a day and then our second one we'll be able to do probably you know at least two fields today and then the rest of them probably finish up tomorrow as in in-game days so you're probably looking at two two days of planning three days max um, we did primary tillage in two days. Um, and then we broadcast, uh, broadcasted a lot of nutrients and we did a lot of disking. And 
now we're planting in the same week, so. I was thinking of taking out a loan and uh, buying like the farm up there, or like one of these pig pig barns, and doing some kind of like uh, animal, uh, like dairy or uh, pig farming. Crop farming is good for now. There's also a great demand for sand and gravel and uh, cement. Uh, I haven't tested out my new semstone and quarry yet, but uh, I'm sure I will eventually. I don't really have any trailers yet. Um, converted uh, a few nice trailers from American Truck Sim that I'll probably uh, use nice Mac and dump never seen that one in game before so it's a really nice model um, so I'll probably will be using that to haul my my sand and gravel and stuff like that Otherwise, I might end up buying the farm all the way up there in the northwest because those are the last kind of fields that I need to farm. And you know, if I have two locations, I, I can use my easy to load to transport equipment and stuff like that. I'm sure that would make a cool video of transporting equipment from one location to the other. And it's on way on the other side of the map, so um, it would probably be. Uh, pretty fun video to do and to watch transporting like sprayers and grain carts and stuff like that from one farm to the other it's not like it's 60 miles away or anything but uh, still like a probably a 10 minute round trip there and back <laughs> loading and unloading gear maybe even more so But those fields up there, that's a lot of eight. Like, that's literally like those fields that you can see. That's literally half the acreage of the map. They're <laughs> almost. We're, we're at like 1,600 acres or something. A little bit over. And there's 2,600 farmable acres on the map. So that you're looking at 1,000 acres of fields that right there. I mean, you look at how much we're farming now, and there's still a thousand more acres left. If I zoom out even more, you can kind of see the size of the fields. It's still a significant, like, I would say like a quarter of the map, maybe even a third of the farmable land. So, wow, we're burning up fuel in our, oh, probably forgot to refuel that T8 after uh, all of our mowing and baling and collecting and merging and stuff like that, but I think he's going to be fine. So this southern farm really hasn't changed much since I first built the map in 13. This is the area that I started. And swapped out a few barns, swapped out the house, put in retaining walls and stuff like that. But the overall layout hasn't changed really at all. I mean, same shed location, same bin location, same farm and shed location, same flagpole, trees, driveway. So this layout here at this farm is, at this point... I think this is a three-year-old layout. Um, back in Farm Sim 13, I think I started playing uh, Farm Sim back in April of 13, I believe. Uh, so it's coming up on, uh, I think I actually, 
it was last week was the three year anniversary for me in farm sim so but I didn't start modeling until last last December So I have a little over a year of modeling under my belt now, and that's uh, pretty much just enough to get burnt out and bored with it. <laughs> so, Let's see what our crew is doing. So this guy. Pretty rough even after. So over here, um, wasn't much ever going on here, so I built a road back, going back to the uh, Semstone facilities, and then added another grain and uh, railroad tracks here, and I have my train that actually comes back here. Um, so spruced up this back end a little bit, it's more of a kind of a, a mountainy, uh, woodsy, rustic. isolated area back here uh, with the river and uh, some pretty awkward fields though but it manages to work but this is where we were selling all of our grain all the great demands were over here so worked out well here comes the uh, Hercules If he like dropped out paratroopers. G97 slipping. Now what? Oh yeah, that's not good. Nine percent damage on my disc. This guy is costing me money. Not a whole lot going on <clears throat> in these videos right now. Uh, just uh, planting, and I have enough videos of planting. But uh, probably finish planting on my own time. And the next video will probably be harvest again, or maybe spring. Who knows? So, thanks for watching.